aspire to do anything, start something, and stop do nothing. Fresh Universe, welcome to Why We Hear You. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, I give you a warmest welcome to you guys for attending this podcast conducted by the Commission Two from the PUSC. President University Student Council. But before that, I would like you guys to introduce yourself first to the camera. Start with you, maybe. Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Leon Jibis Paraya, and I'm from Environmental Engineering Batch 2023. Hello, guys. I am Yosef Ayi Gracias Sinarat. I'm from Faculty of Medicine Batch 20 and 23. Hello, everyone. My name is Victoria Kami. I'm from Angola, and I'm majoring in Agribusiness, Faculty of Business Batch 23. Okay, so after we know each other, like maybe uh, I would like to ask you guys the basic, basic question. Like I'm sitting here with three different person with different faculty, which is faculty of engineering, faculty of medicine, and also faculty of business. And I would like to know their experience here uh, after like almost one year studying at President University. Um, experiencing uh, facilities around Princeton University, dealing with management in Princeton University. So, but maybe we'll, we will start with the basic question, which is uh, this podcast was conducted by the Commission 2 by PSE. Then, have you heard before about the Commission 2 PSE? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, for me, this is my first time being the Commission 2 by PSE and don't know yet the deeper job desk about for the commission too okay and for yourself huh? okay for me i just know a little about uh commission two from P- psg uh, that uh you guys a uh, student organization that uh, help student to distribute uh, distribute their problem to the uh, to the university okay and how about victoria nope my first time hearing about it <laughs> okay, so maybe like I'll explain it in a brief. So actually, President University Student Council is the highest organization of, from all around the President University. Oh, okay. But basically, from the Commission to itself, the Commission to is your role as a mediator and also the aspirator. So right as Joseph said before, uh, we gather some aspiration from the student and act like a bridge from the student. Okay. Uh, to the management student to the university and something like that yeah so that's why we conduct the podcast so that we can gather your guys aspiration like you you are the representative from the each faculty so i suppose like you have your um like your own aspiration or your own comment about the your faculty itself or maybe from your personal um opinion Okay, so talking about the Commission to itself, so we actually have um, several programs before such as Pauline Aspiration and also the Life Pay Attention. So Pay Attention is a program that we spread the Google Forms or something like that, then you guys can fill out the forms to show your aspiration or something. Have you heard about that or have you filled out any any forms or any aspiration? I ever seen the... Thing, but I didn't. Oh, but you didn't. Uh, uh, didn't give your aspiration yeah. yet. How about you? Absolutely never. Never, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> faculty of medicine yeah. is very yeah. far yeah. and it's <laughs> unreachable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like they study every day and yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're thinking about the, their study and didn't pay attention to <laughs> other things. Like, how about you, Victoria? Actually. I have. I didn't know it was from you guys. I have. I seen. Is it the red one? Yeah. Going on the, yeah. Um, yeah. I've right. seen it. I've done it also. Ooh. Okay. So, want to share what you write there? Eh, maybe as we continue. Okay. So later, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after you guys know that, like, uh, we conducted uh, like aspiration gathering or something. So I would like to ask like the main question: Do you think giving aspiration is important? Maybe like. From Victoria, what do you think? Yes, definitely, because it's a way that we can help. We give the feedback, right? And feedback can be constructive, helping the school improve. And also we can see other perspectives on on why things are there. So we can have an open discussion so students don't feel afraid to see and say what they're experiencing. It just makes everything better, I think. Okay, so what do you think, Yosefa? For me, same as Victoria, maybe, uh, 
the as the student aspiration is important because it can help uh, the university improve the quality of education and uh, campus experiences. Leon, yeah, it, <laughs> it is important because it is a forum for accommodating criticism and uh, or suggestion, which become the basis to. It's a room for improvement. Yeah, for improvement. Like that, yeah, yeah, for the better things. Okay. That's it. Okay. So after after we know that aspiration is very important, right? So. I suppose that you guys uh, have anything in your mind, in your deepest mind that ah, this thing has to be fixed, this thing has to be changed, this thing has to be improved. Like maybe we'll start from the basic thing, like where you sleep every day, okay. which is the dormitory. So where do you guys live? Yeah, I live in New Beverly Hills. Yeah, and Beha, and how about you, Josefa? I live in Senior Valley. Uh. Where is it? SBH, SBH. SBH, yes. student boarding house, yes. yeah. Oh, okay. And how about you? New Beverly. New Beverly. So you guys come from NBH and you're alone from SBH. Yes. So you have to fight for your SBH. <laughs> okay. Because from the previous okay. episode That's of okay. podcast, like they're fighting off about mm. the SBH or NBH, which oh. better, and <laughs> fighting off which faculty if better, or something like that. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But it's okay. Like let let's just go. Okay, so from the NBH itself, maybe first of, do you have like any fun experience or uh, good things or maybe bad things that happen in NBH that you would like to share with us? Come here, you can go first. Come here. Victoria, <laughs> you go first. Okay. Well, um, let's see. When I arrived, right, I was staying in Elvis, so I thought that would be my dorm. Mm. But then. I also remember I didn't see Elvis' room in the prospect that I was given when signing up, right? But then there was New Beverly and there was Esbeha, right? New Beverly? The rooms look so big in the picture, you know? <laughs> it looks like Hollywood. But then I go there, I'm like, maybe the person who took the picture is just that small. <laughs> you know? It's quite tiny. Like, I'm, I don't know. I know maybe it's okay for Indonesia, right? For smaller people. But I'm literally 186 <laughs> centimeters tall, and if I do this, <laughs> I reach my whole room <laughs> from like that. But I like the fact that the toilet has a quite interesting concept. Mm. It's quite interesting, and also at least we are allowed to have our own utilities in there. But yeah, it's quite small, and the bed. My feet are always outside of the bed, you know. <laughs> but I still say that New Beverly is. A really good room. I think I made the best choice because around it we have so many shops, so many options to explore around, and it's also quiet when it needs to be quiet. And also, there are some activities going on. Our community is very chill. The people there are very friendly too. And luckily, I'm on the first floor, so when it rains, I don't get affected at all. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, it's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, I still think it's it's better than SBH definitely, but yeah, it's, it's small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with Victoria because because of the bathroom, the bathroom. Um, we're inside. We're inside. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. not like in SBH, SBH yeah. right? It's the boarding house. They're like shared shared for their, yeah. their bathroom, right? For people's. That's not me. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's not me. I like my privacy. Yeah. <laughs> How about you as we have person? Um, as we have gang. What do you think? For real, I really uh, happy because from the beginning we come to President University. Uh, uh, we have privilege, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what kind of privilege yes. is oh. it? Oh, I think it's because the medicine student like paid more than us, oh, so no. you guys no, no, no. get True. more privilege, no, something no, no. like that. Not like that. Okay, before we go to SBH, uh, we live in senior living Kayangan, kan? Oh, in Kayangan, yeah. Yes. Um, oh. There we really, really uh, like a princess and a prince. <laughs> Our room is bigger, bigger than SBH or NBH, right? Uh, the facilities is complete too. But when we move to SBH, uh, uh, for sure we shock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shock. Uh, we shock. Uh, like we fall from. Heaven to uh, to land, yeah. <laughs> but overall, uh, uh, 
from another uh, student we have a privilege to in SBH uh, the facilities is more complete from another uh, faculties I, I guess uh, the building has uh, so many tools that can help us uh, more comfortable mm -hmm. just like that you guys have washing machines, right? Yes, right. Oh, You're right. Oh my God. <laughs> right. We pay for laundry. Yes, we have a washing machine. Yeah, it's because they paid more than us. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, wow. that, that doesn't make sense. That. <laughs> <laughs> but, but actually, like anyway, talking about the medic medicine faculty, like I've heard from some med med medicine student, like mm -hmm. they said that uh, your academical things have moved yeah not not in this university more but your classes move is it right yes so suddenly we moved to Kayangan more uh, again yeah <laughs> <laughs> i real uh, for sure i i don't like that and my friends so uh we don't know what the reasons but uh the Kayangan is not good enough to stay for study because uh, they don't prepare well the tools uh, it's not completed because uh, they have to move from this building POCC right so I think uh, they can move us uh, suddenly to there mm -hmm. I hope we can move uh, again to this uh, university mm -hmm. so that you will have a more uh, relation and friend from another yeah. faculty also right yes and also I heard from the medical faculty they didn't have canteen there I mean like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's a bad thing though, like they studied from the morning until the evening then they cannot buy anything there. Is, is that also a fact? Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> we have difficulties. Uh, we just have one hour to break, yes? Mm. Uh, and then we have difficulties to get food, to get lunch because there is no canteen there. You guys get the bus, right? Yes, right. Uh, but the bus just come twice days in the morning and in the, when we go home then what if you forgot something um, at home you br you bring no food with you oh you have amazon world <laughs> we don't have enough time uh, because we're really busy so yeah. we, we have difficulties to manage our time mm. <laughs> especially if you woke up late and you just yeah. like what is yeah. you'll be messed up with your lecture yeah. then you're right <laughs> You really know <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, so maybe like I would like to move deeper to the NBH itself. I mean, like Victoria, do you have like any other things that you would like to share about the things that you would suggest to improve, or maybe like the bus when we talk bus, right? Like the bus in NBH, how was it? I heard also like the bus uh, was already changed, right? Yes. From the old one to the new one. Is it yes. a good thing or what? What do you think? It is a good thing. Papi P, I love him so much. <laughs> nothing against Papi P, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I really like Papi P, but the bus, actually, that's like one good thing that we got. The, the bus stop over here on campus in mm -hmm. near Building B. We have the new benches. They are quite much better than the previous share because those shares they look like they were dying every day and the bus we got the bigger one so it's less crowded but also i feel like you know to move from the bus one end to the other it takes so long mm -hmm. but I, I like the bus but one thing about the shuttle bus is that sometimes it just has its own timetable, you know, just <laughs> following its own schedule. <laughs> so if you want to come early and don't be late, uh, most of the times you need to follow like the one hour before, 30 minutes before. It's not on schedule as it says. But at least now we get the bus to PEC also. So because I was like, they move students affair from building A to PEC. How we go there? I was like, are they running from us so we don't complain too much? But then it's like, oh no, there's the bus, we go there. So that's fine, that's fine. But I also wish the bus could go to the botanical garden, mm -hmm. you know where they are, because we have greenhouse like for agribusiness, oh. we have greenhouse projects there. But the bus does not go there, and to go there every day will be like 15,000 rupiah, and I get broke, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I wish the bus would have like more schedules. Even also between like, there are some hours that we have three hours without bus or four hours without bus and then we just have the last bus. 
So yeah, I don't know. I love you, Papi Pim, but you know. <laughs> the schedule. Yeah. The schedule, the yeah. schedule. But at least the big bus has helped a lot. Oh, I feel. okay. Yeah. What do you think, Well, Do you have like any same thought with Victoria or about the bus? Oh, yeah, about the bus, about the schedule or about anything related okay. to, yeah, and they are to our dormitory. So as an environmental engineering student, I see that uh, in our dormitory, um, the that the waste management mm -hmm. at the our dormitory is still less effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because due to the lack of um, awareness or initiative mm -hmm. from the producer of waste. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, for like for example, yeah. Um, Um, in our dormitory, there are no collecting. Uh, there are collecting points, but not separated. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's a thing. Ah, <laughs> um, we so have collecting points like are widely spread, but not segregated. Mm. Okay. Segregated, segregated bins. Yeah. Right. 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 It's like this. So the impact of this. Unsorted waste is one of the causes of the climate change. Have you guys ever heard about climate change? Right, yes. Yeah, climate change is a real thing, guys. So, like, yeah. start from a little thing, like, separate your waste, your own waste. But you know what? Like, in semester one for economic survival, right, I created this fertilizer that would be powered by waste management. But then I thought, What are the environmental engineers doing actually in school, our students? Because let's just give one simple, simple example, right? Here in campus near building B, yeah. there is the trash place. Have you ever looked at that? I was like, why is no environmental student thinking about that? Like so proposal. I even thought about like getting this project across the rector or students mm -hmm. affair where we could build three separated mm -hmm. like waste collectors because over there, It's just a lot of flies, everything on the same place stinks sometimes to pass by there. But if we have the environmental students, right, I feel like you guys could come up with some project to better that one because you guys pass over there every day, every day. And it's like, we are really good with talking about sustainability and climate change. But the amount of people I see just throwing things on the floor, I'm like, Shit. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, from our major environmental engineering, we already uh, run the campaign like climate change action campaign like that. It, it wasn't successful because of the uh, because everything is started from ourselves, right? Yeah. So like the the initiative of ourselves, so we can not force people to like. Separate your waste, please do, 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 do. Yeah, not true. We don't force them, but we can incent give them incentive and yeah. facilitate the like the management. That's because the even <laughs> here in Fab Lab, right, we have two bins. Yeah. But every time I find non-recyclable materials in the recyclable Recycle. bin. <laughs> yeah. But then the, the, the people who don't know, they will think, oh, maybe this is recyclable, right? But for example, the what is the the mama one, the the white, what's the white material? I forgot the name right now. For packaging right some people think that's just plastic but that's not recyclable so maybe if we put images next to the beans the bin, yeah. these are the materials that go here these are the materials that go there that could work yeah. i feel i feel like maybe yeah. it Thank could you help. For but you. definitely that big place there i feel like there should be some big project where we would put the big one we would spread it you know so we would have three or four for plastic for organic waste non-organic and like yeah. trash i feel like that would help a lot it and we is. could even sell and make money from it yeah. wow okay wow. Yeah. okay so i feel like like actually i was preparing this for the next session about the faculty session but you guys oh, already <laughs> discussed about the faculty itself <laughs> yeah. yeah so actually like we already heard a lot from the faculty of the engineering especially the environmental, environmental engineering, engineering yeah. right so i think your idea and also like your guys what you did about the waste is very good i mean like it's a very uh, uh a concern thing that we, you must pay attention to right mm -hmm. yeah due to the climate change and something like that but yeah but actually like 
yeah, it, it needs to be uh, improved more, yeah, from the campus academical things and also like from the lecturer itself to do some education to the students, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what about the medical medical faculty, do you guys? Like maybe you heard from your friends or your um, uh, roommate or classmates about what they want or what they need about the improvement things. Mm, I don't know what they want for sure, but I heard my friend uh, request that they need to, the university provide Elsevier account. That's the important account for medical student because we can study free, more freely. Uh, you know guys, uh, the matter in medical is uh, have to pay, uh, in other words, is premium. Mm -hmm. So the cost is expensive. Uh, that I know in another in another in another university, the university uh, provide that an Elsevier account, but in the president university is not. Um, um, so I think it's it's like a more specific um, suggestion for the faculty of yeah, medicine, yeah. like to more pay attention to the student about their basic needs, yeah. yeah. Because like the education is the basic needs, and they need to pay attention more to that kind of things. It might be simple, but. Uh, it means a lot to you guys, yeah, because it mm. contains some premium material that you guys need to learn something like that, right? Do you have any like other things that you want to um, complain in, or you want to, or or maybe you want to, um, what is it called? To you, you want to be grateful of oh. something. Uh, I have mentioned that uh, I'm grateful of the facilities. Uh, we have privilege, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> But other things is I grateful for the lecturers. Lecturers uh, give high uh, care for us. They make sure that we receive the materials and we can understand it uh, well. Uh, and I grateful for the laboratory facility because they complete it and we can use it uh, as well as we can. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Like, like even though like the medicine faculty is new, but they already uh, mm. done like good things, yeah, yeah, in preparing those facility yeah, or right. those uh, tools <laughs> that related to your um, maybe like um, things to do practicum or something. Mm. Okay, then. So I think we already uh, move to the engineering uh, mm -hmm. faculty, medicine faculty, and how about business faculty, especially maybe your uh, major agribusiness, right? Yeah. So. Like before I came to Peru, right, I was already doing university from Australia and I was doing agriculture engineering, right? But then COVID and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, I go back to Asia because before I lived in Malaysia. So I was like, you know, agriculture in Indonesia, better. So let's find agriculture in Indonesia. But then the only university that has English is Peru, that has English in agriculture yeah. place, right? But it's the first time I realized, oh wait, agri, agri business is actually in the faculty of business. So we have no practices, we have no lab, how come? <laughs> but luckily we have like a really great uh, head of our major, which was Dr. Danny. And he was like, we will get you guys that, don't worry. And maybe in the future we, we will offer even open an agriculture faculty, you know? So that would be much better, I think. But most of the things have been interesting. It's okay, it's okay. Like, it's okay. I don't really have much complaints because it's really agribusiness. So it's focusing more on the agribusiness. And that part, I really have to give for especially for the economic survival program, because we did the business exhibition, the how to make the like proposals for getting funding for your projects and stuff like that. So, so yeah, because agribusiness is agriculture and business, right? But it's really improving because, for example, we just got the botanical garden. We can work in the greenhouse and stuff like that. It's getting much better. And now our speciality, we're going to have agri-ecotourism. So it's looking good so far. Okay, so maybe we'll just move to the next section, which is our main goals in conducting this podcast, which is to follow up the polling aspiration itself. Okay, so I will ask you guys some question and I'll read some statement that you guys just say yes or no in a country to one. Okay? okay, so the first one. Do you think a more intensive English learning program than the current one by the college would be beneficial for students? Three, two, one. Yes. yes. Why? Uh, Josefa. 
Um, I think because Faculty of Medicine is using Bahasa, right? Uh, so uh, university need to improve that English uh, facilities to help uh, fa medical students uh, improve their skills in English and the speaking and the communication. Okay, so maybe Victoria? Mm, yes, yes, I think you should. Because I feel like, for example, I'll just give you a I'm not saying things, but I have. I, I know some people, right? Since I came to Peru, I feel like I've learned Indonesian much faster than they have learned English. You know, so I feel like maybe intensifying the use the usage of English could be better. It would help a lot. It will help. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with Victoria, but it's really helpful. <laughs> okay. So let's just move on to the second question. Okay. So. Do you think the discussion room in the library needs to be modified to make it more soundproof? Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose she didn't know about that because. <laughs> no, I Have you been know. to our library? Library, yes, but the discussion room. The, the glass yeah. doors at the back, this side of the library. Oh, I don't give attention. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll just like ask so from Lion first. What do you think? I, I, I haven't gone. So you haven't gone to the discussion room? Okay, so it's Victoria. <laughs> I have been to discussion room, especially when we have like Puma meetings or stuff like that for the HLDs. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes, right, it gets heated. People want to shout at each other, right. but they cannot <laughs> express their full emotions because. Everyone will hear, so maybe if it's soundproof, much better. <laughs> right, right. Okay, next question. Actually, this question already answered by you guys about the schedule, the bus schedule, right? Mm. So maybe just skip to the next one. Um, what is your opinion on whether any internship program undertaken by students should be paid or not? Do you think the internship program should be paid? Yes or no? One, two, three. Yes. 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 Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, why are you just like? <laughs> yeah. I'm confused with the answer. I why? don't know which one to choose. Like yes or no, because it's all depend to us. Mm -hmm. If we like, cut a benefit for our future, I think it's okay if they don't pay uh, us. So 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 they pay you with your experience. Yeah. yeah. They pay so, you. So like your... for me, experience is enough. But if you have money, just give me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Victoria? You see, I think if it's internship, you have to pay, right? But if it's volunteer, mm. maybe they can give us the option of volunteer jobs also. Mm. Okay, we volunteer if you want. But if it's internship, must be paid, definitely. Mm. At, because at least cover the costs for transportation and food. Mm. Like in that case, that it's a very important place. Maybe if you give me transportation food, I think I will consider it. But internship, give me money. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so that, that's the thing. If internship, give me money. Yeah. Okay. So maybe let's move on to the next section again because I think we're running out of time. So maybe it's our personal space to talk. Okay. So maybe I would like to ask about your personal, um, any opinion, any statement, any things that you would like to say about the university, about the management, about anything that you would like to express. Maybe from Leon, do you have any suggestion or complaint from your self, from your deeper, uh, deeper self, something like that? Do you have anything to say? To After I consider the waste management in push. Um, I suggest providing the segregated waste bin. Mm. Like, not only that, only providing the segregated bin, um, we must increase the awareness to the people who produce the waste. Like, maybe doing some campaign or something else that. Some ed education. Education, education yeah. is important, uh, right? It's really important. Because climate change is a real thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> as your perspective as yeah, an environmental as engineering, engineering student. Okay. Right? <laughs> and how about you, uh, Josefa? I think uh, university should uh, provide more uh, scholarship mm -hmm. for faculty of medicine mm -hmm. spe specialists because uh, the cost is expensive, right? Uh, so if there are more scholarship, maybe students from senior high school will interested in president university just like that okay. 
Uh, Victoria, what do you think? Do you have any thoughts? Um, I love everyone, everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would say, um, so far it's going well, it's doing good. Uh, I would hope we get more practical options, more like on the field options, especially for the practical courses, like chemistry engineering. We don't have a chemistry lab, stuff like that. And also the English side, like I feel like sometimes international students are just forgotten. It's just like, ah, you go lab because company visits in Bahasa, then <laughs> why am I going? And also, yeah, even some speak, talks that occur here in campus, Bahasa only. So I'm just like, I want to watch that. I want to go to that company. I want to know about that. Can you like provide both options? That would be, yeah, please. Okay. So like, actually I'm curious about how will you rate your faculty? I mean like you're the representative of each faculty. Then I would like to ask you to rate your faculty scale one to 10. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Leon, start from the Faculty of Engineering. One to ten. One to ten. Mm. Ten? Ten? Yeah. Yeah, I feel Engineer. like that's one of the best faculties. Yes. Engineering. It Engineering. is. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Victoria? Faculty of Business. <laughs> you try to make me fight everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I give seven. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So sad. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Faculty of Medicine, the newest faculty mm. in President University with the highest privilege. Like, no, you yeah. Freak and laundry. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, I will give them. Wow. 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 So I'm the only hater. I'll give ten. I'll go back. Okay then, after we going through of our discussion, our laughing, and our anything that we've been through, so I think it's our time to wrap up this discussion in this podcast. Oh. Okay, so once again, I would like to say the very uh, thanks to you guys that already came here Thank and you. be the representative of your faculty Thank to you. discuss about the concerns, aspiration, and anything that related to your faculty and also this present university. I hope the best for your journey in the next year Thank and you. this semester Thank also. So, so I think that's all. Um, so guys, Fresh Universe, so this is our end of the podcast episode 2 with the faculty of business, faculty of you. Engineering and also the Faculty of Medicine. So, don't forget guys, if you have any aspiration or anything that you would like to complain or you would like to suggest or advise, please go to the PUSE Instagram on at PUSE.Prashinif and so you can tell the, uh, any committees from the commission too or anything if you have any Thing to talk to. Okay, so I think that's all that we uh, can do today. So, Thank you. good day. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.